Okay, this is my most recent uh, accusation. It's uh, Simplicity 3012 Sovereign. Um, yeah. It had a little scratched up in the front. Um, so, uh, I, this is a, oh yeah, it was built in 1967, if I'm correct, let's see, I think that's what it was, um, I think I may have pointed this out before, but if you look at engines, there's model type code. Well, if you look at the code, if you look at the first two di digits, that is the year for Briggs & Stratton engines. Briggs & Stratton is the only one that uses this system. And I'm, I believe they... Still do. I'm not sure. But yeah, if you look at the engines, they're not always down here. Sometimes they're on the side, like this motor. That one's on the side. Somewhere on the top. Anyways, this is a 1967. So, funny story with this tractor. I found it for sale um, I found it for sale and I was like I like that tractor it's pretty cool came with mower deck it came with uh, some extra parts it came with a, a plow um, so it was advertised or, that for uh, four hundred dollars. So, like, all right, that's not a bad price. But then I got it down to three hundred dollars, and then the first day I wanted to go and get it, wound up not being able to go and get it. So. Next day, wound up being able to go and get the tractor. So, and of course, this thing was down in Connecticut. It was down in Connecticut. So, and I'm in New York. So... Upstate New York, so, you know, it's, you know, kind of a long drive. It wasn't bad. <clears throat> so, anyways, that's not the point. Um, who cares about distance, right? Um, so, I, we got, got there. Looking at it, the guy had it running. And then, um, disaster happened. Um, look at the front. You can see how the whole front is bent that way. Um, and you also noticed, uh, the headlight, this one, chrome this one's not this came off the back over here for some reason the wire didn't work anyways um i don't know what i did with the old one but so here's what happened with this tractor we were loading it on and the hydraulic lift system doesn't work as good as it should. It leaks. I gotta fix that. So, it, which there's a puddle on the floor right now from it. And the other day I was trying to mow with it 
and it was leaking. Or the belt was slipping so it wouldn't mow properly. Um, anyways, what happened was, since the mower wouldn't lift up all the way when we are loading it onto the truck, the wheel ramps that I have, the way they're designed, they have a, they weren't made properly or something, so what happened was the mower deck caught on one ramp. And the back tire kept driving and kicked out the other one. And, um, this thing was flipped over on its side. That was, uh, not too good. So, after it being flipped over on its side, and... I got the a manual with this tractor, so I looked at the weight, and this is not a big tractor. This is pretty small, and uh, it weighs 735 pounds. I was so glad the guy did not get crushed by this thing. That would have been terrible. No, he was driving it on. And, uh, so he was real nice and, uh, took $50 off the price. So, that was nice. Really great guy. Um, he was about ready to give me all my money back, and I was like, no, I'm, no, this thing, even if it broke in half, I'm gonna get it home. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the frame got a little twisted, I'm not sure. Um, I think it may be a little twisted, but it still works, so just run it the way it is. It has other issues that I need straightening out. I'll make more videos on this thing eventually, but... Right now, actually, I was glad I bought it because this is the only working riding lawnmower currently. The main one won't work for some reason. So, yeah. That's the story on my, uh... Simplicity Tractor, which is 52 years old. And it runs really good, too. Probably run better if I did some work to the engine, but I just pull this, push it back in a little bit, turn the key on, start it. Oh yeah, I turned the fuel off, so, <laughs> yeah, that's why it's not running, or it's out of gas. So I was mowing with it, parked it here, and I mowed a pretty good sized lawn. I can't tell, well, there's some in there. But yeah, also another situation that happened when I was mowing was uh, the steering gears jump. So, right now, doesn't look it on camera, but... So the wheels are straight, steering wheel's not, so that's another issue I gotta straighten out. But anyways, yeah, runs really well when it runs. 
Lights work. So. Yeah. Got chrome hub caps. The side that it was leaning on was this side. So, this is not the muffler that came with it, or the pipe. Um... I'm not sure what happened to that. But anyways, the light got crushed. The muffler got crushed. It's kind of fixable, but I'm not sure if I'll do that. It might, if I can find it. It's somewhere. I'm to believe. Somewhere. Within this disaster. I hope so. Um, oh yeah, another thing that, one of the things that came with it was extra drive shaft with the things on the ends. Those are safety. What hap What those do is they're like a, not plastic, but I'm not sure. They're supposed to uh, break if something goes wrong. And those are pretty hard to get a hold of or find. From what I was told by the guy. I mean, worst comes to worst. I'll make some out of metal. I don't know. Another thing that came with it was extra footrests. Because one's there. Rubber things are missing. Um, it came with this funky hitch thing. Really heavy. Um, yeah, it doesn't go down to where it's flat. It still sits up at an angle, so... I gotta figure out how to get this to go all the way down because these fenders actually hinge up. Um, well, from what I was told, this seat was off of another kind of tractor, which is basically the same exact tractor, but instead of being a Simplicity, it's made by Simplicity, it's uh, Alice Chalmers. Which is another one. There's another company, or a couple other companies that for a short time bought these things and put their own names on them, on the tractors. I like these tractors. I like the look of them. There's some things I don't like about them. One of the things being it's got this gearbox that takes the engine shaft from going this way to going basically this way to make all this stuff work. Which the gearbox ends right under here. Another thing is this system, which is you put it in gear, whatever gear you want. I like it and I don't like it, but the, anyways, here's how it works. You can choose any gear you want. One, two, or three put it in and you have this lever to change your speeds with this so if you put it in first speed first gear you can move this and go a little faster so you have more range of speed in different gears i like it but i don't it's just worn out. It doesn't work right. I mean, it still drives. I had to adjust the spring to make it actually drive better. I don't think flipping it over helped it at all, but, you know, that's what makes the adventure more fun, right? I think another thing I don't like is the differential is offset over here so all your gears are there 
So it's the way a differential normally works. It's like everything's in the center. And it, well, anyway, it's just weird. I mean, it works. I don't know. I guess it's not a bad thing. Um, got the original variable drive uh, belt. Um, the belt probably should be replaced. <laughs> then there's just other. It's just an odd tractor altogether, but it's pretty cool. Let's see, I got, here I got, greater blade. Which goes on, I want to put that on, see what it looks like at some point. Yeah. That's basically it. Um, been looking into finding a parts tractor, which there's a lot of options out there. Being one I've seen is a newer tractor. It's got a bigger engine, mainly just for the engine. I'm not sure if the transmission is the same. But, if it is, then it'd be kind of nice, because parts tractors are nice to have. See, for some reason, because this one, this front tire keeps going flat. Well, a little hubcap, it's a little dent in it, too. Let's see, that dent's easy to knock out. Yeah, the thing I'm trying to figure out what to do is to get that, the, basically the whole hood and everything to go back that way, so it's not crooked. Um... Such a cool tractor. <clears throat> Got a pretty good sized battery sitting underneath here, like long battery, basically as wide as, let's see, here to I think about there, it's long. It's not like you, your traditional lawnmower battery, which is basically like that short little thing. But anyways, the video's getting kind of long, so. Um, let me hear your opinions in the comments below on it, or if you have any questions. Um, I've noticed looking up videos of things on YouTube. Um, when you try and figure, you want to see a video of how the thing works. Because I've noticed when I look up tractors for sale and trying to figure out, like, what does what, I look at YouTube and sometimes you just can't find the right kind of video. Um, maybe another time I'll try and make a video on how uh, this tractor works. what does what, or I will try to best explain how it works. Oh, let me know in the comments below. Um, till next time. 
Madness Garage out.